What's up everybody? Welcome to our show for today. Now, Cupid season is almost upon us, but you know, as excited as I am, I can't help but feel sad for some of the single folks out there. Take my DOP for example, Jerry. If Jerry won a trip for two right now, Jerry would probably have to travel twice alone. And Jerry's also so single, if he were an R&B singer, he wouldn't even have a hit single right now. But I digress. <laughs> I don't like me. As you pull up to a traffic light or go through the traffic in Lagos or even anywhere in Nigeria, several street hawkers rush towards your window trying to convince you to buy whatever it is that they are peddling. Oftentimes, they address you personally or. It's not too. Oftentimes they address you personally, or oh, guy help me buy my care. You can pretty much buy anything on the road in Lagos these days, from dogs to food items, even wristwatches, or a brand new pair of siblings if you're into that kind of stuff. And while some are hustling to make ends meet, some are going viral, becoming internet sensations, and having their lives changed in a matter of seconds. On our show today, a random act of kindness has got tongues wagging, and we're here to talk about it. My name is V. Welcome, everybody. The internet is buzzing over the story of the bottle water hawker Ekuma Jeremiah, whose video surfaced online as he was seen sharing his personal money to prisoners in a correctional service vehicle in Aja, Lagos. Admitting in a recent interview, the bottled water hawker said he took pity on the prisoners as unlike him, they did not have any freedom as such, could not enjoy little things like moving about freely. Now, and trust Nigerians, these are the kind of stories that we like to see and hear, but actually will not do until someone else does it first. The selfless act of this man has made him richer in the thousands and internet sensation and has also caught the attention of the popular billionaire Obi Kobana. However, an air of caution does hover over this famed fable we seem to have heard many times over. Because quite frankly, this isn't the first time we're going to be hearing stories like this. If we all remember back in 2016, the story of Olajumoke Orisaguna, the bread seller who was spotted by the photographer T.Y. Bello after she accidentally crashed a photo shoot as she went about her business hawking bread trying to make ends meet. Now, after the photographer put up a clarion call on her social media pages seeking for anyone that could find the bread seller and make her a potential model, some people were able to identify the lady and just in a matter of days she went absolutely viral on social media. She got featured on CNN and went on to become a big time model. But now waiting with the call modern day fairy tale, Naeem definitely be that. Now a quick social media search however reveals that there has been no activity on her page that was created and managed for her since 2016, the same year that the page was created and has also you know, stopped functioning. Now, we know a lot has been said about the nuisance that hawkers continue to constitute in some areas of the society. Classic example, Lagos traffic. Then again, just asking for a friend. Now, if street hawking is actually banned, how do we find our next Olajimoke or even bottle water hawker who is now, you know, chilling with Obi Kubana? <laughs> or how about some of us that are already planning to, you know, go into the street hawking business because I'm sure that some of of you in this place have some ideas so the question is what exactly are you planning to do moving on um, we are absolutely excited for this random act of kindness that has ushered us into high spirits for the rest of the year now my question is what happens next will more obi kubanas and ty bellos rise to the occasion or will this be yet another internet sensation to keep us excited for a few weeks and then fizzle out we will be watching and we will be talking our brand new show, Third Avenue, is still on, and we are loving your reaction to this classic comedy showcase. Now, don't forget to catch up with all of our shows and updates across all of our social media platforms. My name is Biodon, and until next time, stay safe and source. Okay, everybody.